So this scene where Omni-Man is slowly falling into the black hole really confuses me. First, we know that nothing, not even light, can escape a black hole once it crosses the event horizon. In the clip, he's plummeting straight in, not orbiting. If he were in a stable orbit, there'd at least be some chance of slingshotting out. But here he's clearly on a direct collision course. That brings up another issue. Why isn't he getting spaghettified? The tidal forces that close to a black hole should stretch him into a noodle. Yet he can get a nosebleed from a space laser nuke, take serious damage from Ragnar, an alien who survived on a high-gravity world, and shrug off planet-ripping tidal forces without a scratch. Now about his speed, we see him falling, then he just stops. But stopping mid-fall doesn't cancel your velocity. You'd still be hurtling inward at insane speeds. It's like walking forward on a speeding train. You can stop walking, but the train keeps moving. In Omni-Man's case, to stop and hover would imply he's somehow moving faster than light. Since once you cross the horizon, only superluminal travel could let you freeze in place. That raises the classic physics paradox. Any mass at light speed requires infinite energy and would turn a plasma or detonate like a supernova. I made this up, but that vast amount of energy has to go somewhere. But Omni-Man doesn't showcase the amount of energy being released. He just the same. I need it to make sense, but it doesn't. Every time I want it to make sense, another physics problem arises. Then, when he swoops back to save the Thraxans, he's clearly traveling at light speed again. One way to hand wave it is to say he never actually went past the horizon. Maybe he stuck himself to a patch of space like a dart on a board and slowly de-anchored before truly falling in. That could explain the stop, but then how did he traverse from point A to point B relative to the black hole spin? The scene never shows that adjustment. I'm stumped. How would you explain it? Drop your theories in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.